Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope that you are very happy to see me again here with the new topic of your book that is conjunctions. What are conjunctions? Chapter number 45 is little bit more interesting than the previous one. Why? Because I like it the most. How? Let's see. What do you mean by the junctions? Have you ever visited the train? Yes, you all. Whenever you enter any of the city on your train, you will see that one very small station comes in between and rest of the station which is a bigger one of your cities is another one. This is the main station and this route that joins a town or some Kent area with the city is your junction. Yes. Do you remember the junction? Now, yes, you all know very well that what is junction. Junction is what that joins the two main things, the two main routes with the main station. This is a junction. So, what is a conjunction that a grammarian has used the word conjunction by using the word junction here. What he wanted to tell us by using this word? Yes, it tells us that joins two things. For example, in this picture, can you all see what is this picture? This is a picture of cat and dog. So sweet of these two. Can you see more pictures here? To join more sentences? Yes, you can see a phrase here in this picture. And this phrase is what they are talking. A family is sitting on a table and they are talking like, We better finish our lunch soon or we will be late for meeting. It tells us that they are talking about the two different circumstances. For example, they are talking that we should complete, we should finish our lunch soon. This is something that he is suggesting. But on the other hand, after using one word that is OR and that is your conjunction. After that, he has switched to another thing that is an, a warning for us and it's or we will be late. Yes, you got my point. For example, let's see. Raju, father and mother are talking. Raju's father and mother are talking. Can you all see in the picture? Yes, you can. They are Raju's father and mother and they are talking. But we are just talking about them and we have joined the two nouns together by using conjunction and here. This is the simple way of using any of the conjunction and you can see in the image also that we have placed the two nouns together by using and here. So this is the simple form of writing it. But what is the difference of uh, the comparison of the two different situations? It is like that if I talk about the two sentences joining together like it could be clause, it could be phrase, it could be any two different situations. For example, if I use the two different situations, for example, Heather is clever. I have used a very simple thing, but careless. I here is talking about the two different things that is clever and careless, the two different situations. But I want to join them by using a conjunction but. So there are some different conjunctions that has been used in different way. So when we will do 
more exercises from Ren and Martin, we will be able to write more and more conjunctions. For example, have a look on your book pages number 171. In the following sentences, the words in italics have been written to you for you as conjunctions like the dog and the cat are in the garden and is your conjunction. The boys came running and shouting. Running and shouting. Two different verbs. Running and shouting. Number three. I played the piano and she sang songs. What? And she sang songs. We have joined the two sentences. I played the piano. She sang songs. I played the piano. She sang song. And she sang song. I have joined the two sentences by using a conjunction and. Number four, is this my pencil or yours? Is this my pencil or yours? Yes, I am comparing the two things, my or yours. So I have used a conjunction or here. Now on page number 172, all the italics are your conjunctions. So why should we waste our time in watching all the italic words? You will see it to your own. Let's move to exercise 1. Pick out the conjunctions. David and Kabir are here. And David and Kabir. So underline add conjunction. Number 2. The bat and the ball are stolen. And again. Number 3. You and I must go. You and I. I with you. And is your conjunction. Number 4. You came and I went away. And two different situations. I came. You, you came and I went away. Number five, is he your brother or your cousin or is your conjunction? Please complete the rest of the sentences by your own, by joining words. Don't forget that joining words and sentences are your conjunctions. So have a look on exercise number two. Pick out the conjunctions in the following sentences and tell which words or groups of words are joined by each. Now be careful, it's your mind setting, how you are going to explain it. So let's see, you and I are class fellows, you and I. I have used the conjunctions between the two pronouns, you and I. Got it? This is your task that you will be careful about choosing them. Number two, Heather is clever but careless as I have used this situation to you. On page number 174, you will see more sentences like number 3, Rashid was ill, so she stayed at home. Rashid was ill, so is your conjunction. Yes, you have joined the two sentences in different situations. Will you have a mango or an orange? When we are talking about the choice of the two things, we use or. When we use different situations, we use so or but. When we are giving some answers to the questions that this was the reason, when we are giving the reason, we use conjunction because. When we are joining the two pronouns or the two nouns together or the two same situations, we use and. This is what they are asking you. Got it? Exercise number 3 on page number 174 is again about selection of the conjunctions. For example, let's see number 1. Kashif has a bat and a ball because we are making a list of the two same things. A ball and a, and a bat. So we will use a conjunction and here. Number 2. He is old and weak. Again we are talking about the same adjectives of someone that he is old and weak. Number 3. He is old but active. Now we are talking about the two opposite situations. He is old but active. But will be used as conjunction. Number four. Shall we walk or run? Now we are talking about the choices of the two things. And we have selected a conjunction or here. Yes, number five. The room is big and dark. Again we are talking about the same noun adjectives that is dark and big. So... I hope that this is clear to you all and now you can complete the rest of the sentences to your own. Let's move to page number 175. Matching of the two sentences. How you can join the two sentences. Let's see one example here. If I want 
to divide this sentence that I have used as an example for you will be like that. Heather is clever. Got it? And I shall put a full stop here that I have done this. I want to make another thing about his another adjective, another quality that is careless. So I shall use Heather or he is careless. I have divided it into two sentences. But if we have an advantage of using the conjunctions by making the two sentences about the single personality, why don't we use it in this way? So this is the conjunction way and these are the two separate sentences that not seem so good but this is one of the excellent ways. So let's see and we'll be able to combine the two sentences together on page number 175 exercise number 4 is like that. Number 1 Rashid has a bat, he has a ball. Rashid has a bat and a ball. Yes, we have done this before on page number 174. The first sentence which tells us about Kashif was just like this. Number two, Hamid knows Pashto. He knows English. Hamid knows Pashto and English. Yes. Number three, I ran, I caught the bus. I ran and caught the bus. Number four, the sun rises in the east. The sun sets in the west. Why? we are writing it in a different two sentences if we are able to write it in a single one by using conjunctions yes so write it in this way the sun rises in the east and sets in the west number five do you like cricket or hockey yes number seven my book is lost or stolen number eight speak clearly and sit down. Yes. Number eight was this. Number nine. The street is narrow but clean because we are talking about the two opposite conditions of the street. It's narrow but it's clean. Yes. Number ten. He is rich but not happy. It's a thing in everybody's life part of life. So move to exercise number 5. Fill in the blanks with suitable conjunctions. He bought a book and a magazine. He is very poor but he is happy. Some poors are always happy and some rich people are not too happy. Number 3. King went to the doctor because he was ill. This was the reason of going to the doctor. Yes. Number 4. If we can travel by land or by water Number five, bread and milk is wholesome food. Number six, I hear that your brother is in London. Yes, so the rest of the sentences will be done by you yourself. I have selected one 176 page, some few examples for you also. Number 19, give me a drink or I shall die of thirst. Number 20, walk carefully or you will fall. Number 21, I did not come if you did not call me. Number 28, you will succeed if you work hard. This is for you also boys and girls that if you want to succeed in life, work hard. Yes, I have used a conjunction if here. Let's move to page number 177 which is exercise number 6 and you are again going to join the two sentences together by using the different conjunctions. How? Let's see. But be careful that conjunction should be suitable. He is rich. He is not happy. He is rich but not happy. Number 2. I honor him because he is a brave man. Number 3. He did not succeed if he worked hard. He did not succeed but worked hard. I have put if here to tell you whether it is a suitable conjunction. No, because we are talking about the two different situations that although he worked hard but did not succeed. Number 4. Babu made 12 runs but caught at the wicket. Number 5. You must be quiet or you must leave the room. 
got it so rest of the sentences will be done by you yourself so my dear students i hope that all these lectures were very beneficial for you how let's see you can all see on your computer screens or your mobile screens that some pages are in front of you what these pages are telling you that the text sentences have been done for you just to guide you just as a help but what we are going to do with the rest of the sentences yes we are going to follow a famous code that is a practice makes a man perfect and we are going to follow these uh, practices in our assignments yes because we all know that if you will practice more and more on the rest of the sentences that i haven't done for you it means that you will become the perfect one so i want my all students to be the perfect so keep on practicing as your assignment for all these sentences i am repeating this thing daily for you to please do all these things as your homework because this is uh, not just a, a part of your notes but these exercises are for your help and you will get help from these exercises if you are able to solve more and more exercises to your own have a nice day allah hafiz